You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. What's going on? It's time for another Ask Camp Kenan uh, episode, and today's question comes from Nathan C. And he asks, how big does a tortoise need to be before he can put it out in an outdoor enclosure outside where it doesn't have to be protected? So I started the show off with a little view of these uh, Zoomed tortoise houses. I love these for hatchling tortoises, completely enclosed completely protected. These guys are just bite-sized morsels for any kind of predator, be it a bird, a rat, or any um, anything like a raccoon. Basically, those guys are very vulnerable. As we know, most baby tortoises don't make it to adulthood. Same thing with turtles. Uh, today, I'm gonna just talk about turtles and tortoises as far as how big I think they need to be. And uh, I'm gonna show you just a few of the ones I have outdoors without any kind of protection. That being said, I do have electric fence that goes around the entire yard. I'm on two and a half acres, so I've got electric fence. It's, it's three wires. The control box can do up to 200 acres. Let me tell you, it is a massive shock if you were to get hit. And that's because I used to have a raccoon problem. I no longer do. But um, what might be good for me here in my particular area may not work for you. You might have bigger predators like coyotes or bears or something else that could make short work of a tortoise. Um, here, the, the worst animal I've got to worry about are fox, bobcat, and the good old raccoon. But once a tortoise, I'm going to show you one right here. It is one Herman's tortoise. Uh, you can see, like, I've been lucky with this guy. Uh, he's kind of small, but let's see. And I'm sticking my hands into places that I normally, you know, even though this is a, uh, look at this, here she is. So you can see her, she's kind of small, um, but she has never been messed with. Again, I have that electric fence all the way around. She's a Herman's tortoise, real beautiful little tortoise here. Um, she's got a tick on her that I got to pull off, a big tick, look at that. Good grief. I got to do some spraying of the ticks. I'm glad I'm doing this. This is important. So we got to get this tick off. It might not be easy to do. And ticks aren't going to really hurt the tortoises so much unless they're completely covered by them uh, enough that they can then become anemic. But up, oh, we got it. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to do a spray. I use a, um, oh look, this thing just dropped right off. I'm gonna have to use, you know, I, oh my God, it's one on the neck. I actually use um, a little bit of um, uh, something called permethrin. Um, it's, you, you can use it for cleaning snake cages and so on. Um, I'll actually put a little bit on them on a cotton swab and rub it onto the tick and the tick just drops off if I can't get it with a uh, tweezer. There are other methods, but that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about size. Uh, so here are the Herman's tortoises. They're so small, uh, but I've never had any issues with these guys getting eaten by anything. So basically that size, once your tortoise of any species gets to the size of a, of a Herman's tortoise, be it a sulcata, a red foot, or the like, then I would say it's time to go outside as long as you know that there aren't any predators that can come into your yard and get them. And I would still do whatever I could to protect against that. If you don't have a fence on your property, if you don't have uh, any kind of electricity or electric fence, you're just asking for trouble. I would definitely do that or just fully enclose these animals. All right, this gal's walking away right now. Uh, remember dogs, neighborhood dogs, your neighbor's dog if dug into your yard. Uh, it could definitely chew on a tortoise, but by and large, once they get to this size, they're going to be okay. All right, everybody. I hope that's answered your question. Uh, I'm going to get to work because it looks like I got to get some ticks off some tortoises. Whoo, it's a hot one out here today. I am just sweating and it's about six o'clock in the evening. I'm still sweating. So, uh, there you have it. Those are definitely the smallest species of tortoise that I have out here without any kind of protection or any kind of screening. Um, and that'll definitely work once you get your sulcato or leopard or anybody to about that size. Get them on outdoors and uh, you should have a lot of fun with them and it should last a long time. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. See you next week for another Ask Camp Kennedy.